Hello and welcome to Data Types in C. Now, in our previous videos, we've already started using data types, we've touched on them, but we've not been able to go deep into them. So, let's talk about them. The first thing you need to know, the first data type is the character for single character. So you have char C, which shows you only a single character. And you have the one for array of characters that helps you to display a string, which is char B into array. Then you have bro, or let's make it brother. To specify them, you use percentage C and percentage S. Also, for your floats, floating number is, um, is used to display characters that have a decimal point. But also, you have double that is used to display characters that have decimal points. So, let's say something in action. Because the difference between the float and the double is that the double is more precise but it uses more memory, while the float is less precise, but it uses less memory. And the float is correct up to 6 to 7 digits, while the double is correct for up to 15 to 16 digits, and that is what it can contain. So let me copy this number and add it to the float. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to uncomment the print for the float and the print for the double. Let's run this. Let me clear the terminal. So let's run this. As you can see, we have our results, but the numbers are limited. So let's make them long by adding these values in front. So what we do is when you add these numbers in front, it helps to show the numbers of characters that you want to display. So let's clear the output and run it again. Now, our numbers are displayed. But when you look at the one for floats, you can see that the number was correct up to 592. But after 592, it was no longer correct. It's that you have 6535, but we don't have that here. But for double, you can see it was correct till the end. So it goes to show you that the double is more precise and correct than the float. So that is basically the difference between the both of them. The next data type is called the Boolean. The Boolean reverts to true and false. So it uses just one and zero. And let's see that. So for the Boolean, but before we proceed, for you to be able to use your boolean, you have to import this header, include stdbool.h. So let's run that for the boolean and see what it outputs. So it outputs one because boolean is true. One is true. Let's make it false. And you see it outputs zero to show that it is false. So there are other ways to show true and false the way it is, but we'll touch on that in subsequent videos. The next one is called the char f. Remember, we use char or character initially here, yeah, but you can also use it to display both characters and character, both integer and character. To use it to display an integer, you have to be between minus 128 to 127. So let's try that. Character as a numeric value. And let's display it. As you can see, we can display 120. But when you change the format specifier to character from D, so let's change it to C, it does something else. It won't display the number, but if we convert that number using the ASCII table to its equivalent in the ASCII table. So, character F120, and let's run it. Instead, it display X. So, let's check what X is on the ASCII table. 120. So, we are checking for character 120. 120. As you can see, 
120 is x. Let's display the value for for w and w is 119. So if we change this value to 119 and run it, you see it is w. So that's that on character as a string to display a character and also an integer value using the ASCII table. The next one is the unsigned character. When a character is unsigned, it means you don't want to deal with the negative value. So instead, it adds all the negative to the positive, then you have double what you have before. So for the signed, all these characters, they have signed before them, but there's no need to put it. There's no need to add the signs to it. So that is why it's just ordinary char. So for the unsigned character, you have 0 to plus 255. But for unsigned, it starts from minus. The sign starts from minus, while the unsigned does not have a negative value. That is just the difference. The same thing is still applicable to both. The next is short. You have the short integer and the unsigned short integer. So let's put that. So people call them short, but you can add the integer. So the short integer h has a value between these and it stores more numbers using two bytes. Why the unsigned short integer stores the same amount but double the amount but this uses the same size in memory. So we have the short integer and the short unsigned short integer. So let's display their value. Unsigned, okay, there's an error, and where is that coming from? So you can also call them short. Why is that? Okay, it's running now. I wonder where the error came from. So now you see, we've been able to display the value of our short and long integer, of our signed short integer and unsigned short integer the next important one like you all know is the integer itself so integer uses a memory size of four bytes and it stores between billion million billions of of, of integers billions of characters and the format specifier is format d, percentage d and for the unsigned you use percentage u so let's display our integer. You already know about integer, but let's just display it. Integer, integer, integer j. So that's it. I don't know why my code is running with an error before it works, but this is it. So you see that we've been able to display the value of our integer, which is here, and also for the unsigned integer, which is also this. The next one you would see is called the long, long integer. So the long, long integer can store more than billions of characters. It uses 8 bytes. In short, it stores up to 9 quintillion, and the unsigned stores up to 18 quintillions. So let's see them in action. Run. As you can see, we've been able to display the value of our long, long, unsigned long, long integer and signed long, long integer. The reason why this U is here is because it throws an error without the U because the values are so long, quintillion. So let me run it and let's see the error. Wow, actually, it, look, let me save. So let me run that. And as you can see, there's an error, expected identifier. Let's run that again. So you see, the number or the value for U is so long, so we have to return the U to display it properly. Save, clear. 
and now it works properly so it shows an error because the value is so long but before i close this video i want you to know that while it is important for you to know about all these data types you won't be using most of them the ones you will be using are mostly character both of these these two characters and array of character the floats and double the boolean and also the integer those are the important ones that you would use and those are the important ones for you to note so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video